and uh, so I had that itch and I wanted to, to work on something and and I had a rough day trying to get data again and I was so frustrated and I was like this is BS like how do I get this you know there's got to be a way and it just like it was like a lightning bolt hit me and I like a pile of bricks hit me it was like oh my god how would I see this if I were standing in front of someone's door how would I know they have internet well I'd look on my phone for wi-fi Mm -hmm. right? And we had just gotten done like walking around neighborhoods. And I'll tell you about that project too. But, you know, basically saying like, well, is there too much wireless in the area for us to hang wireless on poles and get blast internet down the streets, basically. Um, <clears throat> and using the same tools on your phone to like scan the networks, you're seeing all the SSIDs, you're seeing the signal strength, all of that. And so you get a feel for how much internet is down a street that way. And so like all of these experiences like slam into my head in like one moment, you know, and I'm like, oh, oh, we're, we're literally war driving around measuring internet connectivity. <laughs> and I know I can put this on a Raspberry Pi, I think. And so I do some Googling and Kismet has uh, already built drivers for the Raspberry Pi. Like there's a nice, kernel that you can download and not have to recompile yourself uh, and different things like that. And you can set Kismet to not capture packets that are like encrypted or even unencrypted over the wire. You can configure it to only care about the SSID, the RSI, and the, um, the uh, GPS location and the timestamp, right? Uh, and so I compiled the kernel onto one of these. And we bought like a, a $12 uh, or I think it was like $16 at the time uh, on Amazon little GPS chips. And they're not great, um, but they work. Uh, uh, you know, these are horseshoes and hand grenades accuracy that we need mm -hmm. here. Right. <laughs> uh, and so uh, we built it to where it was a stored and forward model. You know, I'm not going to have Internet connectivity out there and I don't want to pay for hotspots and garbage trucks and things. I don't need a, yet another device that could fail in the field. Um, I'm already asking garbage truck drivers who have, you know, a huge day ahead of them anyway, please unplug this from the charging base and put it in your truck. And then when you get done, plug it back in. And like they have a lot of things they got to deal with in the truck already. And so, you know, I'm already asking way more than any other director has ever asked them to do. Uh, and, and so I didn't want to get another complication. So we just did store and forward stores it on the SD card. There's a, there's a little SD slot on the bottom here that, you know, gives you the storage, um, and loads up the OS and, and all of that. Um, and so anyway, all it does is when it's driving down the street, any vehicle that's in every second is putting a GPS dot on a, in a file and then next to that gps dot we have another file i mean next to that gps file we have another file that says here are the timestamps of all the ssids their signal strength and their mac address so that we can unique all of the data right and make sure we're not you know uh, counting ssids more than once as the truck stops right because they make breaks and they stop but that's a really good time to start picking up all the wireless right mm -hmm. um but we used garbage trucks. Uh, so anyway, that's the long story short. So we're out there mapping Wi-Fi access points, um, basically to show who's got likely, who's likely got internet and who doesn't.